All right, all right, all right. Despite valiant efforts from Anthony Edwards and company, the Minnesota Timberwolves have been eliminated by the Denver Nuggets today as I'm recording this, but you're probably watching it a few days later. Today's my job is to save Anthony Edwards and his really garbage 2K face scan in this game from suffering for years and years because I've done a lot of simulations and it's very rare that the Timberwolves win a ring. Also, um, remember how start today doesn't work in 2K anymore? Well, I, I simulate through the season and they already traded Rudy Gobert. I had to trade for him back. They trade him to the Magic for Isaac and Bol Bol, but I can't trade them back, so I'm just going to let them walk into free agency and go lo lollygag with their lives or whatever. That aside, I already simulated through the draft lottery, and um, well, they traded all their picks for Rudy, so there's not really much to ask for here. The team has two second round picks and nothing else in sight. Trading Carl Anthony Towns is something that I'm definitely very open to as time goes on, but um, I don't know if it exactly feels right right now. Well, the Blazers always talk about not wanting to have a, a pick this year. They want to, you know, contend with Damon. Who better to do it than Kyle Anderson? There you go. Kyle Anderson, the first round pick, and we now have the eighth pick in the draft that's all we'll have though because i literally cannot make another trade unless it was for towns or rudy gobert and i don't think either one of those are really uh in my thought process right now also chris finch for you're not terrible we, we need a fresh start over here Screw it, i'll bring in otis newman you want to take the bag never mind he, he's not even gonna sign this he rejected with one offer that guy hates us oh mike brown can we steal you from the kings after one year there you go mike brown welcome to the team look at him in his noggin nba draft day the eighth pick is an eighth wow brandon miller went number one victor goes number two Two. I have not seen that, and and Scoot has not get dra got drafted yet, but it has to happen. You're being offered the following trade. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Why? This is so random to get offered. We'd be trading our first round pick next year and the eighth pick for the fifth pick in Doug McDermott. I don't know in what world why I would ever want this. Also, it tells me that we have a pretty decent amount of cap space, even with Rudy and Anthony and K T Towns. I don't know why I just stuttered on that word. I don't even not really a stutter type of guy either. I'm really my cards. Why you guys give me your next year next year's pick instead? Oh my God. Oh, they did it swap worst oh screw you oh okay yeah i mean this works i don't even know exactly who i'm trying to trade for but literally just trade dang does it work though no it doesn't it doesn't i'm gonna keep my eighth pick you know why usually i would not value a second round pick but this team is so garbage we might actually need them you could have jerace walker they could have a, a swar thompson they could have amy tops i'm not gonna lie because we i draft them way too much and get them eventually in simulations um, i'm not gonna trade for lloyd marketing and taylor Hendricks, are you good all-star maybe anthony black is always a reliable one nick smith i, I can't think of dang he's he's ranked 30th i'm gonna draft taylor hendricks especially with um with chris murray being 22 years old he's a power forward he could potentially replace cat if we trade carl we got the eighth and 14 picks in the second round honestly not that bad i'll happily take max lewis and screw it i'll go with Derek whitehead sign those two to contracts we need them and also uh taylor what you're 76 not bad you'll probably be rotational first year okay yeah mike conley team option far away decline jonathan isaac and bowl bowl you got i mean you know what though the channel is all bowl bowl enthusiasts screw it we'll keep them around he shouldn't be here but not groundbreaking we probably could have signed him anyways and mr defense Jaden mcdaniels you will stick around as well i will walk jonathan isaac into free agency i will not be paying that man 18 million to get injured seven million dollar qualifying off for mikhail alexander walker i'm sorry but i'm smarter than this hell no how much money we got okay we could we could sign back d'angelo russell that'll definitely help us now, i can't waste much time with anthony edwards he's not gonna get much better than what he is probably in 2k but either way he's he averaged 26 points per game last season and if you if you didn't couldn't tell by the lottery results our team did not make the playoffs they lost in the play-in game in this simulation this roster is so trash but anyways we need a point guard just 100 what's funny is amen thompson probably would have been the greatest fit in the world for this team but anyways i think spencer Dinwiddie will be serviceable enough hopefully he'll accept this I'll give him a two-year deal plus the team option make it a flat contract throw him a couple more dollars and boom that should work on top of that i also like mike conley back as a backup i'm really only worried about the point guards everywhere else we can we can handle it deal with it but i think trey jones would be interesting too Spurs offered him a one year deal i could offer you a three-year deal come over here to this team come on there you go we might need some wing depth down the line so i'm offer lonnie walker a one-year deal and that's all i could do for the first day we're gonna get all three of these bastards thankfully they all accepted jesus every free agent's gone for, for a minimum contract i'll sign john wall as well we'll go with a lot of guards here to set up anthony edwards give him a one-year deal worth three million dollars i don't even know he's gonna sign with us but i gave him the most money so it'd be stupid not to i guess actually offer karis Levert as well he could probably be a good score off the bench for us for a while okay he signs that's good and john wall didn't sign with us so i guess it was meant to be dang we don't have a backup center uh, i guess bull bulk play there oh i want to sign dwight howard i don't know what that accomplishes though give me b-ball paul reed what's crazy is i could offer a two-way contract and he wouldn't even be mad all right that's it for free agency actually sign some guys that'll get pissed off me eventually for getting two-way contracts and boom call it a day see ya go bear goes down and overall and so does spencer dinwiddie now i'm gonna see how it all works out right so obviously the timberwolves are in one of the most confusing situations in the league they traded away all their first round picks for the chance at rudy gobert to maybe make an impact on their team to be better 
and it didn't really work i mean it did but towns was injured a lot granted i just simulated the whole season with them in 2k and they didn't do that well i'm gonna go an 11 man deep rotation with this team then turn the bench utilization down so anthony Edwards still plays a decent amount jesus the balance system isn't even good for the team like they're oh every single one okay seven seconds that that's good that worked i'm gonna probably reevaluate things at the trade deadline that's gonna be uh I, i'm thinking i might trade towns to a team that would need him and uh i don't know go from there now this is the thing right i actually i like carl anthony towns as a, as a person a lot and like a character and i know this sounds like the russell westbrook cop out where people are like oh you can't make fun of him he has a family and as they're offering me ben simmons for rudy gobert uh, i'll pass for now also injuries are on right I, I haven't seen us get an injury yet that's that 11 man 11 man rotation working its wonders but i'll be honest um as someone who really enjoyed watching cat plays remember when he you know what i'm saying got uh was getting drafted out of college and everything he just doesn't do anything for me anymore like in terms of like being like an intimidating playoff it, he's been to what three playoffs now and he's never really been the guy and i know they've got oh my god bowl bowl out six to eight weeks hell on earth and also why are they benching spencer dinwiddie but that being said though maybe these a uh, couple of minor rotations made the difference because we're currently 23 and 9 i do have a belief though that there's not really many big men at all that can be the guy in the modern era even if there's like a couple that are dominating the league i think like my my thoughts of dominance are skewed by luca level dominance in the playoffs whenever he actually makes it there jeez they're offering us robert williams for taylor hendricks and Cal Karis Levert. what well, that's kind of crazy we already have enough centers basically what i'm trying to say is that most people would choose carl anthony towns but yeah i don't know basketball kyle anderson back hell no see now this would be interesting like just something like this Jalen Duran, a young center who's gonna be around for probably what is it eight more years than carl and marvin bagley who has no more ceiling to reach he's kind of mid but you know i i can rework the deal around a little bit also in the simulation the pistons went really deep in the playoffs which is kind of weird to say so they could be looking to improve there's another one siakam but I, i'm good that's pretty lateral carl towns makes the all-star team i don't know if edwards is here he is not and i would assume nobody else on our team is cats averaging 22 and 8 and edwards averaging 25 5 and 5 on 57 percent shooting as well and cat shooting 46 percent from three and edwards 44 jesus lonnie walker i had zero expectation for this but he's been starting for 23 games and he's averaging 12 points per game spencer dinwiddie pretty well and we have had no injuries which is really weird oh yeah right bow bow i forgot about that and then i think like b-ball paul got injured for two seconds as of right now though i i cannot be looking to trade count towns because he is very valuable for this winning basketball organization organization and edwards is as well this team goes from not making the playoffs to this currently taylor hendricks two estimated wins per game as a rookie not even playing that much and rudy gobert i mean honestly inevitably like it feels weird to trade him again but it's probably gonna have to happen just accept your defeat putting myself in the shoes of the timberwolves front office i don't want to accept my defeat but uh yeah yeah you, you did that mavericks and grizzlies are ahead of us in the conference but nobody else is and once again the only negative estimated wins players are trey jones and Jaden. trey is playing pretty decent but he doesn't shoot that well and same with Jaden mcdaniels that's usually the case is that if a player isn't crazy offensive players they do negative in this stat so maybe we'll hold them around just in case they can defensively contribute hypothetically speaking who would want rudy gobert oh clay thompson for him yep that's definitely that's definitely realistic matter of fact actually let's see if rudy rudy's having an impact check the uh team stats defensive rating we are second best in defensive rating with rudy gobert leading down low i don't know maybe see look look we are not even 14th in offense which to be fair that also could be his as well as some others i'm not gonna go delve too too deep in that but i'm not gonna make any trades this year what i will do though is actually make sure uh, there's no contract extensions to pull off rudy gobert wants to test free agency in two years i guess because it seems like yeah and Jaden mcdaniels is refusing refusing to resign is he gonna be restricted because if not he was a first round pick he has to be as long as he's restricted i'm gonna just go against his wishes and, and match anything he wants to leave with i want to keep the team intact see if they can keep playing this good for the rest of the season luca wins mvp brandon miller 27 points per game in his rookie season maybe he was worth the first pick i don't know jordan Poole, sixth man of the year Giannis dpoi tyrese most improved and quinn snyder 57 wins we weren't far off of that that's the hawks the hawks i guess were the best brandon miller all nba second team in his first season no sign of any timberwolves and that's the only thing i do have to question as we are the second seed 54 and 28 is that like no all nba players while i think anthony edwards you know um i expect a decent amount from him come come around playoff time and i don't know if he's ever gonna provide here in terms of uh like productivity in in 2k saying give more minutes to spencer and and uh dinwiddie uh, spencer and rudy jesus first round against houston so far one one two one in their favor oh man we are gonna go down and this is where all things hit the fan we go down three one already in the first round after all of the the you know promising we're literally pulling a memphis grizzlies to the lakers right now i do have a decent just suggestion i think i can make for this team right now sorry i still can't say some words i moved jaden mcdaniels to a power forward so now
now he's coming off the bench and that leaves room for Karis Levert and um and Lonnie Walker to play small forward because it doesn't seem like Jaden's playing too well matter of fact I haven't even checked the playoff stats let's see if we can adjust well enough to come back 3-1 Anthony Edwards is playing lights out insane Spencer Dinwiddie also playing incredible Towns as well it's actually Lonnie Walker folding right now Trey Jones folding Bull Bull folding Karis Levert folding oh Jaden McDaniels actually played pretty well based off what I've seen I'm gonna adjust accordingly we got the starters playing a lot more minutes I took Bull Bull and uh, Trey Jones had a lineup for now and I'm gonna give Anthony Edwards the ability to play point guard for when Dinwiddie isn't in so yeah there you go hopefully that fixes some things if not well I tried we're gonna win the next game a valiant effort we win by 30 points actually 40 almost they got Miles Bridges on the Rockets oh man am I a genius I don't know we're only down by two points with 119 to go 120 left in the game Rudy passing to Edwards Edwards goes left to the basket all the way layup he wow I thought definitely that that was gonna be a foul but I guess not he just threw the ball up for no reason Gobert guarding J Jabari Smith dribbling up the other way and Jabari shoots the three and he greens it the second year pro looking real confident as he puts us down by five points Anthony Edwards might have just sold the game Edwards to the basket again he's he's guarded by two people and he shoots it anyways but Gobert's gonna bail us out with the layup and the offensive rebound Jabari Smith playing point forward guarded by our rookie actually and he's gonna go left go back to the right Jabari a fall away shot it's off rebound by the rook Hendricks Taylor Hendricks back up the other way Taylor over to uh Edwards Edwards goes baseline on J uh J Jalen Green I don't know why I'm forgetting his name back out to Lonnie Walker for three and that is off 28 seconds left and they're gonna foul Jabari Smith because they're stupid and they always do that Jabari Smith is getting MVP chance and our 3-1 comeback is about to get blown oh man what are we doing Edwards fades away holy hell and we're gonna lose to Houston the seventh seed in the first round is official two for 11 from Dinwiddie but he played great for the rest of the run I think he's gonna be sticking around for a little bit longer I can't blame it on him Timberwolves eliminated this is a disappointing loss but uh I don't know we could just try and get better I guess Memphis goes to the finals and they lose 4-0 to the Cavaliers the God squad of the 2k and I think it's probably time actually matter of fact can I check out some stuff again yeah Rudy Gobert is not living up to his contract and can be easily easily replaced for the most part he played fine in the playoffs but I don't know who else I'd probably I mean obviously it's gonna be a package's deal oh there goes LeBron and Kyle Lowry and Greg Steamsma wait that is not Greg Steamsma if it's the same Greg Steamsma that was in the NBA that is definitely not him oh okay okay now they oh whoa wow so this is the rules they're trying to trade the change this offseason okay so change the time the offense is given to advance the ball that's fine eight second violation who cares draft lottery the worst team has a 25 percent chance of the number one pick they're trying to change that back so i guess influence tanking since they kind of uninfluenced it and lastly automatic points will now be granted on shooting fouls no free throws will take place following the foul i i will allow it i can't believe i'm saying that but screw it why not it's not every day you see that that the, the, the league is that insane oh wow so they already changed it there's a 25 percent chance for the spurs to get number one will they do it look at how many the thunder have holy hell and the spurs fell down one pick unless no i think they're actually their pick might have fell down four wait let me see yep their their primary pick went from one to four and then their other pick went from three to two all right so for trades before the draft edwards expired this year oh man that's not good i was thinking about trading go bears so we could sign somebody but we're about to have three players on max contracts one way or the other go bear was saying he was going to test free agency anyway so out of all these trades that potentially could be made for made for rudy because I, I just can't look at this man i'm going to send him to guangdong crazily enough the hawks are the second best team in the east right they don't have clint capella anymore okong will yeah sure he's expired but they're probably going to resign him they actually tend to let dejounte walk hell i might steal dejounte from him now might be the master chess move but i could see why they would want another center on this team because their next best center is all the way down here thomas bryant and actually one one of their picks is their own it's a swap best with san antonio and the other one is a king's pick one way or the other we need some picks over here and rudy it's not working out hawks you're great over there in your conference congratulations you've earned yourself a rudy gobert we have the first round 26 pick in this draft i really liked how karis levert played last season but i would trade him if needed yep i'm gonna just use the pick and go and draft somebody actually i don't know am i am i okay with the mediocrity of this actually no i, I actually i forgot about i wanted to trade trey jones i took the man out of the rotation in the playoffs for a reason oh great they're trying to trade me rudy back that's that'll really fulfill things thunder have all the picks in the world hey give me one of these mid-tier picks this is actually perfect for us trey jones and a king's first for the ninth pick in the draft and nick richards after we just traded rudy i will take this a million times out of a million and i'm gonna keep lavert just because realistically I, I think you know he played pretty well i i my gut is telling me to trade him did when he played too good for me to trade but my guts tell me to trade lavert i'm not gonna do it because whatever basketball doesn't feel morally correct the bulls i don't care you guys pick give me oh 
Dang, they left Ian Jackson. And I take that back. You know what? No, if there's one way I'm going to change this team, they allowed both of these two to trade to make it up to this point. Call up Utah. Call up Utah right now because this should not have happened. This should not. They are trying to give me these players. Aaron Bradshaw, I don't know who you are. You should have not. We, we should not have these two selections at nine and 10. Call up Utah. We will give you guys look. You guys were just, you know what I'm saying, in the playoffs or almost. Lori Markin, so cool. Wow, we love Lori Markin. He's so good at basketball. Ball. Wow. You guys are going to be so great. Hey, Walker Kessler, guess what? He didn't just get one rookie of the year first place vote. He actually got two. That whole, you know, debacle that happened where everyone's mad at the Utah reporter. Well, guess what? Another person voted for him too. Yeah, you will not be getting pick nine, but I will. Dang, Duncan Robinson, 19 million though. That, I'm, I'm okay on that. You could have Karis LeVert. Hey, give me Chris Murray while we're at it. We'll do this. All right, fine. I'll just, uh, I just realized this is a team with our picks. I don't even want them back. They want to give me Duncan Robinson so bad. After all this, all this negotiating, you could just have Karis LeVert for the 10th pick jesus christ okay i guess not even a second round pick just take it oh my god all right i guess i gotta go back again and give you a second round pick just to get it there we go and with that being said i'll pick Bronny first this is the this is the player we need so badly all these trade offers hey i'm about to jesus christ zach levine that is hilarious wait, wait where is it there it is zach levine for the pick yeah no De'Aaron fox my god these are actually crazy trade they would never it's actually more realistic that i i trade for the 10th pick than trade it for De'Aaron fox my god why would they ever do that i'm gonna go with my gut and everything i worked for in that trade give me ian jackson alongside them and that literally fills up our starting lineup fills out our starting lineup and there's a tiktok dude jared mccain i'll draft him as well screw it up i got a last pick as well give me jabari walter and we're done probably gonna be signing every last one of these rookies Bronny and ian jackson by the way who is a 78 overall that man is the best rated player in the draft overall wise and fell to number 10 i'm loving this team now i'm keeping all the young players i don't know why it's telling me to get rid of some of these guys no, no, no. Accept all contracts for now. If I got to make cap space, we'll make it happen. Anthony Edwards has to be re-signed. They want me to get rid of Paul Reed. Paul Reed was cool. I'm gonna give him a qualifying offer, man. So technically we have enough money to sign AD, but I already know the second that they make me re-sign Anthony Edwards, they're gonna be like, oh, never mind. You don't have enough money. The only way I could get around it is if Edwards does not get a contract during the entirety of the uh, restricted whatever thing, the moratorium. I might actually have a way to finesse it. I might try it. Oh, this would be a fantastic player to have. Markel Fultz. I feel like we could actually rationally afford this alongside Anthony Edwards. Four-year deal, just off from the base, base deal, right? Don't think too much about it. Edwards, give him the five-year deal. It might actually work. I'm not even going to go to sign anybody else. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Well, guess what? I think it's time to trade some of them young players because I'm only a couple million off. Perfect. Derek Whitehead, Wendell Moore, and a first to the Rockets for three firsts. That is an insane fleece. And will I have enough money now? Still no, somehow? I don't know how that's... Either way, I'm fine with that trade, honestly. That was a fantastic trade. Oh, wait, hold on. I think it, there you go. Look at that finesse. Sadly, this means the end of the 10 years of Jaden McDaniels, Bull Bold, Lonnie Walker, Paul Reed, Dylan Mitchell, and Bryson Warren. But it's been real, buddy. We, we don't need none of you anymore. It's, we'll see you. That was literally the one thing I could just barely pull off, and I did it. I'm going to get an old man vet to round out the team. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Tim Rules legend, quite literally. Kevin Love. Come along for a two year team option. I don't know. Just accept the deal, buddy. You're not going to get anything else. Anthony Edwards advances to a 91 overall at 22 years old. Maybe he can reach a little bit higher than I expected. I also signed Cam Reddish to play backup small forward. Andre Drummond to play if I ever need him to. I moved Ian Jackson to small forward to start there. Taylor Hendricks. Oh, yeah. I, I re-signed uh, Jared Vanderbilt's back from the Lakers after we traded him in the Rudy trade. So we kind of just reversed the effects of that. Thank God. Why are they starting Cam Reddish? Are you insane? You're talking about the dude who was the highest player, overall player. In the, you know what? Honestly, let Coach Rock. Actually, nope. I'm lying. Switch this to Young. Young player is favored. There you go. Bronny's the 11th man currently, but with injuries and stuff he'll uh he'll play some more sometime and also yeah yeah cats back at center i'm loving this team i'm i've always i am a huge markel fultz enthusiast like ever since that man had nothing going for him i i feel like i say this every video now a few videos ago i asked in the comment section what was the worst injury you've ever sustained i got some crazy answers some normal ones some crazy ones like torn acls and stuff like i've had cousins who have done that you know what i'm saying but i seen one dude that's like oh yeah i i tore my cornea or like i had retinal detachment and then i can't see my left eye anymore i'm like oh my god i don't even know if that qualifies as an injury more like a scarring of life I, but hey he, he's still here and he's alive and he can listen to me ramble about nothing didn't affect his ears oh wow we are currently the best team in the league at 80 percent win percentage in the middle of january uh, i don't have a question to really ask today to the comment section but if you want you could type a question you have for either me or like if you're a commenter you could just scroll through and answer the question that another person asked you know what i'm saying it can be like a chain reaction or this can fail fall on its head completely anthony 
Edwards makes his first all-star appearance since it's always wrong on here and says second. I just realized that I could scroll down. And, oh, wait, no, they, they actually changed the rule and made it so there's an extra all-star, I'm pretty sure. And Cat's still here, despite, you know, the doubts I have put on him. He's still cooking. And the Cavs have three all-star starters, and I miss Shea from that Thunder video. But we're doing great this season. Towns made the all-star team average an 18-7-4. Edwards, 23-5-6. Both of them shooting, shooting fantastic. And Markel Fultz is probably borderline 15-9 and on 58% shooting. Edwards is far and away the most valuable player on the team. But look at this. Markel Fultz, second most valuable. And then Towns. Taylor Hendricks also up here pretty high up. Bronny already very valuable. Then what he's still holding on to his role. And the only negative player I'm not surprised at all is Jared Vanderbilt. I knew this when I was signing him. The guy doesn't really score a lot. He can't shoot that well. He's a mid-tier shooter and scorer, but he's a great defender. So maybe that'll help in my soul. He, he fills the role that Rudy left behind, even though that's kind of the opposite of what they did in real life. And I literally can't sign anybody to a contract extension. That's fantastic. Or the best team in the league. As of right now, I will not be trading anybody. Luka Doncic, MVP, DJ Wagner, Rookie of the Year, Anthony Black, six man, Evan Mobley, DPOY, Taylor Hendrick, most improved player with 14 points per game. This guy is a special player. I have not seen him or taken notice to him in any simulation thus far, but he has been very impactful for us as a uh, eighth pick rookie who I honestly didn't think was going to be that good. And 65 wins from Mike Brown. He is the best coach in the league, the coach of the year. Victor makes the first team on the Pacers. We had not one all NBA player, sadly, although Ian Jackson makes the rookie first team and Bronny makes the second team. Honestly, I thought it was going to be the other way around. Or I guess not. 65 wins is far and away the best. The Thunder are near, close to us, but nobody else is close. First round, we smoked the Warriors. Second round, we're down 2-1 to the Grizzlies. I don't think I could change anything after that good of a season, but we lost our home court advantage and now we're back in Memphis getting smoked. I wonder if home court advantage matters at all in 2K. Probably not considering how many eight seeds will win in this game. But by five points or less than a minutes left, this should be over what it is. Edwards had 37 to Willis over the hump. Let me just simulate a game. There it is. 3-2 and 4-2. On to the conference finals against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Bolts against Shea. Giddy against Edwards. Ian Jackson against Dort. Vanderbilt against Jalen Williams. And Chet against Towns. Aside from uh, the Fultz against Shea matchup, which is a big time, you know, disadvantage. We got the advantage everywhere else. 1-1 one, one so far. 2-1 in their favor. They put Taylor Hendricks back in the starting lineup. I respect it. Let me take a look at this, this team, right? If I'm, we're going to go out, I'm going to go out the way that I think we should. Okay, well, they got Killian Hayes probably in the rotation, so that tells you something. But decided to make a bit of a shift on our rotation. Threw some more minutes to the starters. I took Cam Reddish out of the rotation because he's not shooting that well throughout the playoffs. 40% isn't that great. Vanderbilt, it said he was in the negatives and estimated wins, so I threw him to seven minutes only, even though he's still pretty efficient from the field and plays good defense, which doesn't really make sense for his estimated wins to be that bad. And then uh, the rest is still pretty similar. It just gave more minutes to the starters. If anything, actually, yeah, take a few more away from him. Give him to Fultz. Fultz got to be playing as well. Hopefully he doesn't get injured. And the strategy worked wonders. Edwards, 29 points in 33 minutes. Fultz had 21 and 12. And Taylor Hendricks, I'm happy to see you shoot the ball that much. And he also fouled out, but maybe make some shots next time. The next game, we are smoking them yet again. I don't think there's any way for them to come back into this one. We are by 40 points in the third quarter. Towns, 30. And game six, uh, we're going to game seven. That's a Zaza. Not really, though, because he made Kawhi get injured. Jesus, another Simcast game and another domination. That is an insane win. Markel Fultz is the conference MVP. The guy that I randomly just picked out like a what's that uh, saying like the like a straw in a haystack or whatever the hell that thing's called like a needle in a haystack uh, yeah yeah uh, strain growing for the season okay well it says he could play edwards you will not yeah no you're gonna keep playing buddy no way in hell strain growing for the season you could you could re-aggravate this injury all you want but Fultz is holding us down crazy right now so i'm gonna throw him one more minute dimwitty i could i could usually trust you so if you gotta play a little bit of minutes for edwards here you go same with uh ian jackson and i'll throw some to brawny since he's the only like guard like that but that is that is might be detrimental though if we uh lose him make him any worse for this this run right here they far and away these are the reigning champions and they far and away have a better team than us in like every single possession and we are so far winning the first game but they are still right there it's not going to be like the last series and this is going to be a tough loss yeah i could already feel it i could see it from a mile away 114 118 loss ian jackson our rookie put up 30 points in game one of the finals edward still at 23 hopefully did not get more injured i do not believe so let me see if he actually if his injury resolved a little bit nope it's the exact same so I'm not going to bump them up anymore. Yet again, we are giving them a run for their money, especially because they swept last year and they we win that one. Game two, Jackson puts up 30 again in just 25 minutes. I think he, okay, he put, he had 32 minutes the game before and 25 in this one. I got to throw him more minutes by default that he is having insane stat lines right now, helping us in the kind of absence of Edwards who shot four for 13, our star player. I don't want to take up to take away too many minutes from our other impactful players, but throw Jackson another four minutes or something.
something like that. All right, there, there you go. 31 for him. Even though we won, we got to make sure he's being prioritized because he is cooking them. Back in Cleveland now, and that's crazy. Actually, I didn't, I didn't realize that we had home court advantage. I guess it makes sense. And coming back in the fourth quarter, but I don't know if it's going to be a fully comeback. Yep, we lost uh, fourth quarter. Cook. Edwards led the team in scoring. And did, uh, what's his name? Fall off the second of game more minutes. Yep, three for 11 shooting. We needed you at this game for sure. And Donovan had 49 on Edwards. Is this like lateral quickness cooked right now? Oh, yeah, basically everything from him is cooked like really badly. His defense is still good, but his lateral is down a little bit. Speed is down. Acceleration, layup, mid-range shot. I'm actually going to swap him, I think, with Jackson for now. Actually, they're basically the same on defense. Just keep it the same. Let's just ride it out. A fantastic effort to come back in this game just to get smoked and likely lose. Yep, it is over yet again. We're down 3-1. Donovan dropped 45 again. I'm about to get weird. I'm about to start setting the meticulous stats, all right? Go to the Cavaliers. Donovan Mitchell, on-ball pressure. Okay, first and foremost, go to... Um, wow, they have Kyle Kuzma on the bench. Hey, leave leave um, Isaac Coral. Just leave, leave him open. I'm just trying to deny the ball from their two guards. Screw, we'll see if any of that stuff does anything. Well, denying the ball actually denied the ball. Uh, it's kind of working. We're up by two with 36 seconds left. I don't want to jump in, but I might have to. Oh, there it is. 106, 106 with 15 seconds left. I actually thought about signing Xavier Tillman, and here he is on the Cavaliers, and he misses the free throw. I did not even realize he had a free throw. Oh my, I didn't even, it didn't even go into my mind, the thought. I'm like, oh, we're tied, and uh, I'm about to, what's it called? Get the basketball, you know, a game winner. We're about to do that anyways. Here it is, the pass into Edwards. Injured Anthony Edwards, guarded by Donovan Mitchell. Edwards steps back, 11 seconds, 10 seconds, going to the basket all the way. Edwards, the layup, and he misses it, and the rebound by Allen. Three seconds left, he passes it up to Donovan. Donovan from near half court, and he misses. Thank God. I, I'm very saddened that Edward, Edwards missed the shot, though. I don't even know why he's taking the shot. I guess he's still the best player, yeah. Down by two with 59 seconds left. The Cavs can win the championship just about in a couple more seconds. We call another timeout or a timeout in general after a bunch of dribbles. Four seconds off the shot clock. The pass is going to go into Mr. Edwards, and it's nearly stolen by Mitchell Edwards. Instead, though, he's got a lane. He's not going to take it. The screen by Cat, and he fades away. Oh, my God. What is happening? Oh, Cat gets the board. Cat that layup is good. What is happening? Garland steps back for three. What is happening with these threes? Jackson up to Hendricks. Hendricks to the corner. Dinwiddie back to Edwards. Edwards, the screen is coming from Carl. He's got Evan Mobley on him. Edwards is going to go to the right on. Oh my God, he had it. And he's going to pass it off. What? What? He just Ben Simmons did. And an offensive three second on Edwards. Oh my God, what is happening? What is he doing? He's got a cold meter off this garbage. 11 seconds left. Donovan goes left. Edwards sticks on him and he really doesn't though and he still misses the shot and we have another shot with 1.5 seconds left. It's going to be a half court garbage heave. 1.5 seconds left. Here we go. Honestly, give the ball to Towns. Give it to the homegrown. I mean, I guess they're all homegrown. I don't know. The, it passed into Dinwiddie. He barely gets it. Oh my God. Spencer Dinwiddie from downtown. What the hell? I just skipped the whole entire celebration. Oh my God. What the hell? The pass into Spencer Dinwiddie from way downtown. Spencer Dinwiddie from near the logo. Bang. Just cool, calm, and composed. And Mobley is sitting on the floor. That is to potentially save our season. We're down 3-2. Come on. Just a couple more games. Let me check the minutes real quick. Edwards, are you are you getting back to full health yet? Alright, you know what? I'm gonna give him, you know what I'm saying? We need, we need all we can from him. Give him a couple more minutes. 88 overall still. You're still the second best player on the team right now. We'll see how you do. You might shoot us at the game. I don't know. So so far it's looking like you're not come on hold on to this please no don't let them get back oh my god spencer dinwiddie thank you so much you have helped us force a game seven garland had 39 donovan we actually denied the ball i just realized that the edwards actually you know what screw it edwards shot two for 11 so whatever i was about to say i don't think the substitution thing the minutes change worked because i didn't do it on the Cavs specific one since you, you know i set Cavs. Were, whatever whatever all right game seven in minnesota game seven okay they're getting him back into it it's getting close we're running away but they're still there and I don't know. The Cleveland Cavaliers have blown a 3-1 lead after the Dinwiddie game winner of hell of the gods on the basketball. Chris Duarte, we don't care. I'm going to shoot a shot in a second as long as... Take a shot. Come on, buddy. Go ahead. Shoot a shot. It's all yours. It's all yours. All right. You know what he's... Oh, my God. Edwards just fouled for no reason. What the... That wasn't even me. Dang, they just subbed out the start. Oh, Bronny's in. I'm about to get a bucket with Bronny. Bronny James comes back from down 3-1. It was written. It was written. Bronny James, I'm going to the basket. Screw it. Give me the layup. It missed. It doesn't matter. I got a shot off with him. That is it. The Minnesota Timberwolves come from down 3-1. This is 
only year number two it really is i think there's only year number two and we're already champions with minimal move i mean movement but like no like i don't like break the league or nothing we just did it man my elite coaching aka talking into a uh, mike brown's ear like i'm the rat from ratatouille i'm pulling on his hair that he doesn't have and carl towns after all the doubt i even shined on him is the guy he wins finals mvp with edwards injured he stepped up i don't even know if he stepped up that much but stepped up enough hell he didn't in this game my god four for 13 but you can have it who cares my opinion i mean Fultz won the 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 western mvp but hey it is what it is Ta wait what was i not just looking at towns winning the finals mvp how did how did taylor i have never seen that they just gave finals mvp to a whole different person hey to be fair he earned it taylor hendricks in the finals 20 points nine rebounds two assists on th and three blocks he averages two blocks in the regular season and the playoffs but three is crazy in the finals at six foot nine man had three games with four blocks this guy randomly that i i, I traded like kyle anderson and some stuff for to get the eighth pick i would have never guessed but he is the finals mvp let me get a i haven't done this in like a year like another year i always i feel like whenever i say to do this i say i, I haven't done this in a long time let me get a th for mvp in the comments man i i i always feel corny doing that but screw it he deserves it he deserves it. it's been a you know channel ritual for some time that he deserves it i don't know how the hell this guy did it the former eight hey whenever you get drafted i will have my eyes on you actually i guess it's this year matter of fact i'm about to look up where he's projected to get drafted i just looked him up and yeah he's supposed to go in the lottery oh it's time to try and repeat i guess and we got kevin love a ring on his way out that is beautiful i mean we already had rings but hey it is what it is rings or one ring two rings now wait didn't i approve the rule where free throws didn't exist anymore did i did i get unapproved can i see that real quick yeah so how was what's his name shooting a free throw you know what? i don't know that's crazy wait so this free throw i i completely forgot about that so free throw percentage just doesn't exist anymore it does though that maybe it just doesn't work just two two k's rules don't work in their own game yeah edward shot 350 free throws um this season i don't i don't know they literally lied and he's still kind of injured one at one and championship injured as well thanks to the team um i always decline this rule players will not be eligible for the draft till they're 22 that is so stupid nba draft and we have the fourth projected pick from that one stupid trade i did to get the brooklyn pick and it is going to be it didn't go back right no no it, it's the seventh pick it fell down a little bit but that's still a pretty good pick you know there's no way i could trade anybody on this team i think i did a i kind of almost removed jared vanderbilt from rotation hey you know what? i won't do anything too crazy but i could already tell you that cam reddish is not gonna have a role next season hey you know what actually bulls do you want you want to just have him i don't even want jordan clarkson give me two more picks for him brooklyn unprotected no i'm good on that you could have one of our picks here you go and you you still don't uh there you go boom take that what the hell fine just give me one first instead i don't even care you know what they're being annoying i'll take jordan clarkson i'm gonna trade him right now though i have no use for him i'll take two pacers first rounders for him there you go all right we don't gotta talk too much about that i'll hold on to jared vanderbilt just in case he's a solid rotation player nothing too crazy first pick is going to be trey johnson second one nasir cunningham third isaiah elohim fourth asad noel and fifth is us so right now i have basala bagayoka available i did draft him in a recent video though vj miller you know what's crazy i don't have a backup shooting guard a great one behind um anthony edwards or a small four behind uh, ian jackson and this dude's potential says ceiling michael jordan so i don't think he's much of a drop off from basala it is kind of tough to not take him though but now nah, I'll, I'll take vj miller i'm gonna stand on what i said vj miller welcome to the team and Basala's gonna go next to the nick and maybe i was just setting them up for, for success i don't even want this second round pick just trade it for another one vj is a 77 overall he's better than the other two dudes you have to right before him so we still lucked out either way but tell me not to give spencer do a contract but that's because of the team option i, I could still resign him i'm gonna just do that and he's ordered off or he's already got offers yes i'll have to give dimwitty a little bit of a bag still even though he's 32 you've earned it though you helped us win a ring you hit one of the greatest shots in nba history and resign nick richards andre drummond and spencer dimwitty and i'm actually gonna resign that max lewis dude too if i could find him yep there he is might as well just keep all the players around give him a two-year deal keep the whole squad together i was about to say who's an old bastard i could resign this year but nope he already popped out right at ricky rubio yup 100 you could even have a two-year deal without a doubt we need to bring him a ring that man is a timberwolves legend then when he gets a little bit worse everybody else is getting better edwards is up to a uh a 93 ronnie's up to an 80 after one year and vj miller only went up because i moved into small forward i don't know why but i always just feel 
very secure and the Nick Richards and Andre Drummond both playing off the bench both centers I don't know why it just feels right oh Vanderbilt can't even shoot either but or Bronny some more minutes than him hey I was just about to say I think in my personal opinion that Bronny would probably be starting by now and well he just earned himself a starting spot for a few minutes while uh Fultz recovers but yeah like when I drafted Bronny I was like then we probably gonna be kind of oh my god Ian Jackson six to eight months oh my god at least we're at the beginning of the season but that is awful our final savior we're gonna have vj miller the rookie already starting in his place he'll get an opportunity for literally the whole season we don't even have another small forward to start over him ricky rubio's gonna be in the rotation soon like this la hey, markel Fultz is back though crazy i that is probably the worst injury i've seen our team sustain in any video i've done this far jesus jared's and vanderbilt's out for four to six weeks too i still got us playing 11 man rotation right i mean yeah i literally saw it a few seconds ago one more injury in 69 overall ricky rubio is playing holy hell hey if that happens though i will 100 percent be checking his stats it'd be hilarious oh ian jackson just came back six to eight months where 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 what he's back but i think he dropped a couple overalls because i think he was an 87 i'm pretty sure at least eight. i don't know i felt like i did the math when i saw the negative like seven thing on him but maybe i'm wrong Dang, not vj miller's injured but screw it. it it's not as bad can i find out who the training staff is you know what's crazy actually i tried to do this the other day and the coaching you remember when they made a big deal out of like the coaching like two years ago before like so last year or this year in 2k they did the whole my nba um eras thing and that's a big deal right I, I give full respect for that i know it's not perfect but respect right the year prior they were like oh we've we've made a big improvement on the the staff and the, the my staff literally they call it my staff now that is so lame all this stuff is just more i guess yeah sure sports medicine team doctor whatever this guy seems pretty good though i can't lie i'm gonna hire a stamina trainer screw it i just hire all these people i signed as many as i could and then we got a whole woman uh what's it called sports medicine staff going on cooking look at that spencer then he's already healthy he's enthused edwards and towns make the all-star team yet again 44 and 10 on the season hey carl towns dog we've had some confusing run-ins over the years you know before i took control of the team took it from whoever the hell is the gm and now but if you want to re-sign with the team and dog i will re-sign you to the team simple as that you a little, little bit less money than that but no need to really even think about it Carl the towns welcome back for five years he's done something that no other players done with this team won a ring and got a fake finals mvp even though they took it away from him two seconds later jesus christ ian jackson are you about to be the next injury prone player of the world broken right ankle now and markel Fultz, broken finger luca wins mvp but Salah wins rookie of the year the man i passed up on but we actually needed vj miller for a lot of the year with old dude sidelined multiple times ronnie james the most improved for us off the bench 16 points per game he actually started a decent amount markel Fultz got injured a couple times he started 36 games but 16 points and seven assists pretty elite 67 wins for mike brown and vj miller makes the all rookie second team averaging 11 three and three obviously the first seed far and away first round against portland we win second round oh my god taylor hendricks torn achilles for the season maybe even next season i don't know that is a really bad loss right now he was averaging 16 six and three our finals mvp from last season on 60 percent from the field at fantastic oh man that is that's sickening i'm actually gonna make an adjustment instead of jared vanderbilt starting i don't think i want him starting actually you know what L let's see how it goes first game we lost the spurs second game we lose again and yeah see vanderbilt 25 minutes and two points i know your defense isn't making up for that we they scored 120 on us ian jackson i'm gonna move you to power forward or either you or uh yeah ian's gonna be powerful for the rest of the season vj miller starting at the three that is a huge loss though and i'm gonna cut the rotation down to 10 for now let uh towns and edwards cook but we're down 2-0 in the second round and the spurs are going nuts giving us way more of a run for our money than i expected but we're gonna win a game thankfully and we lost by 20 plus points less than 50 percent from the field bolts as well dimwitty two for eight eyes I, oh my god ian jackson oh for seven that is bad zero points that is probably his first zero point game in a very long time i don't think the power forward thing is working out for him i don't even know what who the spurs start or whatever they got jeremy sohan nicholas claxon's their best player this is a bad series to lose a very very bad series to lose uh, after that performance i'm gonna put ian jackson back at small forward honestly there should be no excuses for losing this series i'm gonna just run the same rotation again let them do it at their, whatever they want to do we should not be losing to the spurs team and if we do it is what it is and ian jackson drops 26 and a win in the next game back to a small forward like that's what i would personally be telling my team like hey show me what you're built of or show me what you're not built of you know what i'm saying and are we about to come back from another three one i don't know but we're about to force a game seven 148 points everybody's healthy except for that one dude that got injured obviously and we might just with jared vanderbilt back starting at the four putting up four points and 12 rebounds 
rebounds. Maybe we need a rebound contribution. I don't know. Cat has had, you know, that is that is true. I didn't I didn't consider that as Cat had 11 assists in this game, which I didn't consider that uh the other dude that power forward that got injured. He, uh, you know, our former Finals MVP. He he was cooking for us on the rebounds. We just came back from down 3-1. 93 overall, Jalen Green alongside Jalen Brunson. I don't know how that would work. This is a very good team, but we are gonna win the first two games, win the win the fourth. And NBA Finals bound yet again. Anthony Edwards, 26 points, five rebounds, and five assists to win the conference MVP. And we are playing against Trey Young in the Atlanta Hawks, DeJounte Murray. And what's crazy is I don't think he's here anymore, but this is where I traded Rudy Gobert. He could be. He could be. Nope, Rudy Gobert is gone. They did not keep him around for long. And we took some of their picks for it. Actually, I think, I don't know. We took some of them, though. Sadly, still not at full health for us as Bronny is starting currently. Jared Vanderbilt is cold. But I think I'm going to go against the 2K logic here. I know he doesn't score a lot. I know he's also, Jesus, throwing a ton of turnovers. Why? But we need the rebounds right now. Look at this. Game four, what I put Jackson in. Look at this. I was like, let me go and get some uh, some some evidence for what I was talking about, right? When I took Vanderbilt, basically, I mean, not, not even fully out the rotation, just 19 minutes. Jackson only had four rebounds at power forward on 0 for 7 shooting and also fouled out. I didn't even realize that. And we got out rebounded, you know, I'm saying uh, on both offensive and defensive rebounds pretty badly on defensive. But then I start I start uh, Vanderbilt again. We badly out rebound them in game six. And I believe every single game up until the series ended. So I will not be switching out anything. We don't even have another power forward to put in technically. And Hendricks, are you still out for the season? I mean, he tore his Achilles, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he's, he's done. We smoked them in game one. This might be an easy series. Just might be. Nope, we lost game two. Bronny just got injured. How bad is it? It's it's okay. I mean, he's still gonna be playing, but Markel's back to the starting lineup. The guard Trey Young and everything. All right, we're down by 1.114 1 left. Game series tied one to one. Trey Young fades away from three and misses it just barely. Dimwitty grabs the rebound, thankfully out rebounding uh DeJounte Murray, who's a great rebounder for his you know position. And Lewis, that is a wow, Lewis, that is an awful shot. He is not even supposed to be in the game right now. He might just barely be in the rotation. Trey Young goes to the left and he is gonna get fouled but not make the layup. And there there goes our starter second back in. Yep. Dimwitty goes to the bench. Sorry, Dimwitty. You were a clutch of God once upon. I mean, you still are probably. Oh, the free throw thing enacted finally we saw the free throw wait hold on anthony edwards the dunk and trey just got rewarded two free throws for nothing speaking of that do they still shoot them it looks like they do i don't know though actually no he's only missed one free throw the whole seat wait wait that's playoff either way i i don't know how he would possibly be missing free no well uh check isaiah stewart yeah see no he still shoots 67 percent. i think it's really only when you jump into the games it just doesn't work otherwise so if you get fouled it is two points automatically which is wild and trey young steps back for three a beautiful step back into a shot and we are down by two so technically if you were to go to the rim and get fouled and you're down by one with no time left in the shot clock like like let's uh no time left in the game that could be a game winner without having to go to the line the screen and edwards pulls up oh my god what an awful miss oh wait, wait no i i do think yeah, yeah it's just for shoot oh that is what i'm forgetting it's just for shooting fouls so bonus fouls yeah you, you still go to the line and reach ins i guess okay yeah yeah so i guess there could be free throws but it's just shooting fouls and uh oh my god ian jackson's gonna shoot from way downtown and miss and we are going down 2-1 in the series 100 going down it is a six point loss and towns at 27 I'm not gonna lie man if we had taylor Hendricks, we would not even be going down right now three we're about to go down 3-1 in the series i will say we 1000 percent need a jared vanderbilt replacement next next off season carl towns back to power forward just for right now because in dire need of this and nick richards will start at center normally doesn't even play that much but hey I don't even know if he's really that good, but screw it. Ronnie James injury is fully healed. That's good. Yo, I'm going to try what I tried last time yet again. Go to the Hawks. Just deny the ball from Trey Young and DeJounte. Really, that's the only two. Sadiq Bey is a scorer as well, but I'd rather him have the ball than anybody else. Literally nobody else in this team even averages a bunch of points. But that is crazy that we're even down in the series. There you go. A win. Very close win. Ronnie James, so right knee for the season, buddy. You are going to be playing basketball one way or the other. You are LeBron James Jr. Stop complaining. I know you probably want to go home and play video games or something but no we don't play video games around here we're real men 108 110 with 126 left we're down by two edwards goes to the basket come on draw a foul real quick he didn't draw a foul but he hit the shot anthony edwards he's got dog man and we need you badly right now kind of sold this last time around trey young guarded by dimwitty trey goes right he's gonna take his pull-up shot and it is off rebound by jackson and jackson's gonna pass it down to anthony edwards for the two-hand slam for for safety Trey Young steps back, goes left on Dimwitty, and he gets fouled. That is two points.
points immediately. Oh my God. I can't even be mad at Dinwiddie being in the game right now. I, I don't like that he's guarding Trey, but oh, hold on. Edwards and Towns is, might get open in the corner. Oh, Edwards forces an awful shot and Murray with the rebound. They could end the series right here, right now. Murray, he's got, nope. He's going to take it himself. Goes left, guarded by Dinwiddie again. And Trey open in the corner for three. It's green. We're not going to take a timeout. Edwards back up the other way. And we take the timeout after dribbling for a few seconds. Stupid. Edwards down by three going left. He's going to pull up slightly moving to the left and it is green. Anthony Edwards ties the game at 115, 115, 19 seconds left. Andre Drummond is in the game alongside Towns. I'm not even mad at it. More rim protection, I guess, kind of. And who's going to set the screen? It's going to be Zubots on the right side, I think. I don't know. Here it goes. Trey Young going right. He's going to pull up fade away three and it is off rebound by us and we're going to OT. Thank God. Trey Young could have sent us home. Trey Young over to Hunter. Hunter to the basket. DeAndre, the spin move, the layup. It is good by Hunter. The screen and Edwards layup is off and he gets his own rebound back out to Drummond. Andre Drummond would have been nice to have a shooter there, but instead back to Edwards. And there's only three seconds on the shot clock. Anthony's got to put up the shot and he misses the rebound by the Hawks. And that might have been the sellout point of the game. The screen by for Trey. Trey fades away to the right. He misses the same shot again. We're going to double OT. Hold on. We're kind of cooking. Okay. Never mind. We need to hit a shot here. Up by one with 36 seconds left. 31 seconds. Edwards goes left. Edwards uh, layup. Oh, Drummond gets the rebound back to Edwards. Edwards fade away shot. What the hell? That is in the bag, I guess. It looked ugly, but it hit. And Trey Young try that same shot again to try and tie the game this time. I guess we'll see. The pass into Murray. Murray, is he going to take it this time around? He might. Murray goes left and the spin move to the basket. DeJounte over to Sadiq Bay. Not a bad shot, but he misses. Rebound by Zubat. Zubat's going to pass it out and it's Timberwolves ball. The pass goes awry by Avicha Zubat. Five seconds left and uh, uh, Markel Fultz is fouled. Hopefully he gets some free throws. My God, I'll stick around to see if he can hit one. There you go. And that is it. We're not going to go down 3-1. Thank God. A two overtime win for 32 point Anthony Edwards who was stuffed in the stat sheet. Carl Town shot five for 17. And I think this center experiment uh, Towns that power forward thing is working well, well enough at least. I actually really don't know, but it is, it is, it is what it is. And it is game seven. I thought it, I didn't realize it was game seven. I'm not going to change a thing. Just go cook. Can we bring in the deal with torn Achilles, please? Just sub him in. No, 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 no. We have lost the Atlanta Hawks in game seven, a hard fought series, a near comeback yet again. But Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, Adrian Griffin, and Sadiq Bey somehow hold us off. I mean, our team isn't otherworldly, but that one hurts. Trey Young, finals MVP. They were the number one seed in the East, so it's not like we lost to some scrubs. But we had 67 wins, and oh, wow, they had 64. Jesus, the Pacers had 64 as well. Oh, I forgot they have Victor. Yeah, right. Hawks beat Victor. My God. Victor and uh, I would assume, oh, Lonzo Ball, not uh, not not Tyrese Halliburton. Where's Tyrese Halliburton? I don't know if I could say there's this is any sort of a non-successful season. It was beautiful the whole way through, basically. Towns kind of underperformed in the playoffs in terms of field goal percentage and everything. But aside from that, I mean, dang, Drummond wasn't even shooting well. Why Why not you? You usually shoot fantastic. We couldn't get Ricky Rubio a ring. He retired. League meetings, thank God. No new rules. No good picks this year. The only players that are going to go in the free agency on the whole team is literally just Andre Drummond. So um, probably just going to let him walk and sign, and sign some player that's better. Maybe I was the mid-level exception and sound like a nice old old veteran to actually i never mind i already know what i gotta do i gotta sign a better power forward and trade trade jared vanderbilt right now negative two estimated wins dog on a 67 win team we could have had 69 wins i didn't mean that in the corny 10 year old joke way i just like capitalizing on opportunities so get this bastard the hell off my team uh 18th pick 25 pick in a jared vanderbilt i could just trade for somebody like uh, i just saw bobby portis he'd probably be good or we can get the sixth pick in the draft and that is almost always the right move thanks steph curry got a lower leg stress fracture for the season and they traded for john collins why they have one of the most useless teams ever vucevic john collins they ruined curry they got me boy out of here all right jared vanderbilt for the sixth pick it, the, the deal is done we're in the draft with koa pete and cameron boozer and bro we could get bryce and ronnie but if it doesn't happen i'm not gonna you know throw a fit dang marcus johnson went number one overall koa pete number two. Oh wow the jazz traded the whoa wait what oh no no no, no. Y yeah i think the jazz had kuminga somehow i don't know but Kuminga got traded for the third overall pick and James Harden and Cameron Boozer is going to the Kings. Oh yeah, never mind. That that's a good trade for them. 
And look who is still available at this pick. Bryce James. I did ha, never have any plan to do this, but he is genuinely the highest ranked player left. His ceiling is Larry Bird, Hall of Fame. And DeLon Duran's ceiling is LeBron James, Hall of Fame. But I'm, I think I'm going to select, uh, yeah, this guy right here. Bryce, welcome to the team. And the Spurs trade the next pick for Kawhi Leonard. Wait, was it not the Spurs? I don't know. The Bulls, sure, whatever. The Clippers just traded Kawhi Leonard for the seventh pick in the draft. That is crazy. Except every player's team option. We need all these bastards. I'm going to try and sign Tari Eason to take. Uh, oh, he's restricted. Oh, hopefully they don't care that I'm about to take their player. He could take the role of Jared Vanderbilt. And then my other signing. Hey, uh, Rudy, you want to you want to come over here and, uh, and and redeem yourself? Tari Eason, will they will they match? They did not match it. I'll take it. What the hell update required? It is 530 a.m. Screw it. I'm going to finish my signings. And lastly, I was looking for an old Timberwolves player to give money to. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Sign for the last spot on the roster. But you know what? Jabari Parker, you have not retired yet. Haven't given up on hasn't given up on his dreams you know i gotta respect it i used to love this guy man give him a two-year minimum contract come to the team then when he's down to a 79 but he might have to stay here for life after that one shot go bears down to a 77 but he probably won't be playing much anyways i didn't plan for going for 12 seasons like the last one of the last videos you know in this one but uh happy to give the timberwolves their due respect before i uh, depart from this organization decide to you know move on to my next taylor Hendricks is still out for another four to six months with his torn achilles so we've got tara easton starting at the four for now fine that's that's worse for me. Hey, Markel Fultz, hold this three-year contract extension, buddy. Ian Jackson makes the also team for the first time. He actually takes Carl's spot. Carl Towns, that is. And Hendricks is very nicely back. And even though we're 42 and 11, there was one trade I did have on my mind. As of right now, all of our centers are so mid that they're not even in the rotation. Nick Richards and Gobert. Dang, Bryce James in the G League. Oh, well, this is pretty ironic. Timberwolves are such a long name. Timberwolves. Timberwolves. Look at how long it is compared to all the other players. What's so crazy is these videos, I mean, recently have it even been that realistic they have been but haven't been it's i don't know it's a mix whenever i decide to feel like it in the middle of the videos right there's no way in hell i would trade for the dude i just lost to in the finals it doesn't even feel morally correct or literally nothing especially then when he nick richards and tari eason for Dejounte murray really i put that guy powerful he didn't cook the whole that's crazy too because it's like the only good trade off i'm getting from this entire thing scoot henderson what the hell why am i getting offered scoot henderson for spencer dinwiddie have the thunder like ruined him because he's in year four and he's only an 84 I'm pretty sure Victor is like far up in the 90s. Victor is a 95 and Scoot is an 84. He's probably been ruined by the Thunder uh, having him on the bench. Hey, maybe I should trade for him. Get him out of there. We're going to get you out of there. Honestly, I might do it just be, just for the narrative. That's crazy because instead of uh, letting their, you know what I'm saying, using their draft picks to their advantage, they didn't um develop de develop their players correctly. Scoot Henderson and Usman Yang, welcome to the team. You seem to be a, a kind of a bust in this uh, simulation, but it is what it is. You're also not going to start for us, but I made the trade. They said they didn't want you anymore. More. You probably got pissed off with them. I don't know. The Dennis Smith Jr. situation all over again. He takes Spencer Dinwiddie's role as our second point guard off the bench. I'm trading Rudy Gobert two seconds and a first to the Timberwolves for Mitchell Robinson. I mean, my bad to the Wizards, I'm pretty sure. I'm sorry, Rudy Gobert, that I, I tricked you and I took you away for one second. But, buddy, I needed a better center to be able to play. I, li I literally didn't accomplish anything that I was trying to set out to do by training for Scoot Henderson. Scoot's a real cool name. Actually, I'm going to search up what his real name is because there's no way his real name is Scoot. I feel like I've done this before, but maybe not. His name is Stur Sterling. Honestly, not a bad name, but you can definitely imagine I'm going to be tweeting out Sterling Henderson whenever he does something crazy in the NBA. Because today I tweeted out Rayford Young when Trey Young hit the game winner. That's just always been my thing, calling players by their full names. Like, I, I think it, one of the first players was probably Rowan Barrett, Rowan Alexander Barrett Jr. Victor wins MVP, Koa Pete, Rookie of the Year, Chris Murray, Sixth Man of the Year, Victor, DPOY, Trey Johnson, Most Improving, Mike Brown, our coach, 64 wins. Your Timberwolves, I don't know where are, are where to be found. First round against the Pelicans, we are oh okay lost two games but one second round against the rockets thankfully won this year and you know we all we also have our savior back mr uh taylor hendrick 86 overall former finals mvp come on now we needed him back down 1-0 to the thunder but we won the next two games and the and the next game and we're in the finals ian jackson western conference finals mvp we're playing against Lamelo ball and brandon miller with ben simmons at center jonathan isaac at power forward my god that is insane we lost the first game i'm not gonna lie i just clicked simulate because i I thought this team would have no chance but i guess not that is not the case ben simmons put up 16 points and we're gonna lose the second game of the series this is definitely a great sign i don't know what's happening right now at all taylor hendrick shot three two for 13 vj miller two for 12 i would cut the rotation shorter but our players that are supposed to be playing good in in the minutes that they're like they're not playing good either at a certain point you just gotta admit it like your player they're just not doing good but that being said i, I will cut usman jang out of the rotation right now i didn't even want him on the team really I'm going to cut Jared McCain out too. 
put it at nine, man. That might that might do a turn for the better for us. And we're down 3-0. We just blew the entire lead in the fourth quarter. Here and Jackson got hurt. I don't care. Two for nine. Screw it. I'm going back to 11-man rotation. And hey, we need someone to bring us back from the series. Give the minutes to Bryce James. We need we need all the LeBron James power to come back from this deficit. He's been in the G League marinating. Oh my God, it worked. It's worked so far, at least. Almost blew the lead, but it's all good. Bro okay, Bronny James. I was like, no way Bryce came in and dropped 21 and 11. He had six and five. If we came back from down 3-0 and 3-1 in the same video to win two rings, there goes another win. Towns had 24 to Miller's 27, but we won, so who cares? There's two more wins. Come on. Oh my God. Out of the water. We're going. Hold on to it. Do not let go of the wheel. The wheel. No. No. Why? Why? Okay. Four points. Wait. Four points still. Game seven. 3-0 comeback. The Bryce and Bronny thing might have worked. I cannot believe I'm about to say this. Your Minnesota Timberwolves have came back from a 3-0 lead. Scoot Henderson led the team with 20 points. Bronny James had 18 and 6. Everybody, a bunch of other people had double figures. Bryce had 6. Mitchell Robinson could be tall. Bronny James is the finals MVP. 3-0 comeback, just like his pops. And I don't think there's any other better way to end it than that. I don't, I feel like we've been bailed out of winning two rings. That is insane. Crackheads galore on this team with the performance of moves, with the performances we've seen. Edwards averaged 21. Ian Jackson and 18 bryce with a 4-0 finals record it's been real it's been fun but it ain't been real fun but